Well, hello there, naughty boys and girls. It is I, the Zest I wanted to do a video for you to explain my episode 2 look. <laughs> It was really exciting when we got the challenge from the Boulay brothers to make a ghost from the Old West. I want to do something really evil and really creative and strange, but also historically accurate. So I did a little research on the Old West and I came across an article about orphanages and it turns out these orphanages were kind of like war camps for the kids really brutal conditions and often they would just sell these children off for the highest bidder you know so I came up with uh, my own character and I made up a little bit of a story about her and here it is her name was the Struka and she was the headmistress of the infant asylum which was basically an orphanage. Her and her husband came from across the ocean to the new world to run this asylum. And one day, some children who had cholera were left on the doorstep of the orphanage. And the Struka's husband tried to nurse them back to health, but he himself succumbed to the disease and he perished and it blackened her heart and so she vowed revenge on the children of the orphanage she worked her little fingers to the bone and she even rented some out to the highest bidder as slaves and business was good until one of these little brats was playing with fire in the parlor and the whole place went up in flames the children and the struka they perished next thing you know she found herself in limbo she could see the souls of the little children go up to the heaven and she felt herself being pulled down into hell and she grasped at these little souls and she bring them into her and she realized it gave her power she did not have to go to hell now she haunts the orphanage and she scared the little children to death and when the souls passed she collect them unto herself so she can keep herself in the spectral realm. So let me explain a little bit about the construction of the costume. It all started with a dress that my friend Adele made for me a few years ago, which was actually a ghost dress. And I altered it. I put new sleeves on it and made them all big and puffy. And then also the little strips of uh, fabric all over the dress I put on there so when I move around I look all ghostly and stuff. I hand sewed all these things on there. So let me tell you about the dolls that are on the dress. My very good friend Frankenstein told me about this wonderful estate sale. This lady had died and the whole house was full of dolls. Well the dealers came in and they bought all the good dolls and what was left was these garbage bags full of fucked up broken dolls and I just snatched them right up. So then I put them in the dress. I just chopped them all up and I sewed them and I glued them in there and I wrapped the fabric around them but I also painted them. I painted them to look more tortured and sad and I put like sad expressions on the face with the paintbrush and everything. And then I put spray paint on it and baby powder to make it look all old. And I even took the dress and I dragged it down the street. And I took a bunch of dirt and I wiped it all over on it to make it look really old and fucked up and like it's from the old west. I love this. I love you beating babies on your dress. It's amazing. It was a wonderful performance for me. You were one of my favorite. You were. Well, thank you. I have four words for you. Miss Kitty for president. This lady liked what I did, and I love her so much for it. Thank you, Miss Kitty. Mm. 